What it do, what it is, what's good, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Warren. Today, I'm in the state with my boy, CJ. What's happening, man? It is shit. Good. We about to be reacting to how Tuka became the most disrespectful person in rap history. Rest in peace, Tuka, man. And my collar, we gonna stand there and say rest in peace to that, too, because it just keep hanging. But uh, let's get right into this thing and see what they, you know, see what they talking about, you know? What's good, YouTube? This is most time today. We're going to talk about how Tuka became the most introspective person in rap history. If you listen to any type of Chicago rap, you probably heard the name before. And if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you in the same boat I was in, wondering why they dissed this man so much. So I did my research, and the answer even crazier than I expected. I'm really not trying to make another video like this because it's kind of dark, and I didn't realize that until I was halfway done with it, and I wasn't trying to scrap it. But if you like these type of videos, drop a like. You better get it. I put too much work and time in it, so I couldn't just throw the, just delete it all. <laughs> Please subscribe. Follow my Instagram. The link's in the description. We about to be the new academics. I just made it, and I haven't posted on there yet, but I'm about to start soon. And feel free to shoot me a DM. But I'm most likely to be the new academics. <laughs> I mean, it really gonna, sparked me to make. Hey, we gonna need a new academic. Said Freddie Gibbs keep tossing his ass like the way he is. I, I, I heard he just quit. I heard he just I, I, DJ Academics just quit uh, everyday struggle. And he blaming John Legend wife at um Freddie Gibbs for the shit. Then Chrissy Teigen, Chrissy Teigen, yeah, yeah it's, it's all crazy. because of Chrissy Teigen and Freddie Gibbs. I hate niggas. Yeah. You double team. Video is that's crazy. I'm sitting chilling. Then I come across King Bond latest this. I didn't know who Tuka was in King. That was that's what he, uh, I guess that's what he's doing right now, then. I guess that's what he's Shit, doing but right he got to worry about Duck and all of them. <laughs> like, man, rest in peace to all of them. That's crazy. Yeah, that's tall ass. was talking crazy. This nigga right. said, when I die, I find Tuka ass and I'm going to beat him up. So I Googled him. Tuka was a 15-year-old kid who got shot at a bus stop, and he's been dead for nine years. Damn. We're going to get more into that story later, but it really got me thinking. Yeah, that shit happened down there 15 years ago. Like, that's crazy. Man! What did he do to make them niggas that mad? <laughs> to fully understand the story, you gotta understand what type of environment these niggas are living in. In Chicago, 80% of the murders go unresolved. The type of shit these niggas on, you would think they in Afghanistan, but they in Chicago. And this story takes place down by 64th and Martin Luther King Drive, better known as Old Block. The most dangerous street in Chicago and one of the most dangerous streets in America. It's too many sets there, GDs, Gangster Disciples, and BDs, Black Disciples. And they've been raised ever since they were young to hate each other. <laughs> Shoot. 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 Wow. Niggas like Lil Reese, Chief Keith, 600 Breezy, Lil Durk, and King Vaughn are all BDs. And they had crazy success, while their ops really had no big rappers. So when niggas out there talking crazy about GDs in their rap, there's no one that can say shit. And Chief Keith was the first one to do it and get crazy popular. We all know who Chief Keith is. Even if we haven't heard a song, we all heard the name. He got crazy popular during the Chicago drill wave in the 2010s and was dissing his ops like crazy. First time he dissed Tuka was in the song 300 and then the disses just started flowing in from there. Chief Keith kept dropping hits and in these hits he would drop disses. He even put out a old Tuka diss track. <laughs> Bro, I know his, I know Tuka mom probably like mad as hell. Like I know his family, I'll be mad as hell if somebody made a song like this. Like it's like the whole it's song. Is now like, that, that you win an award, see so you. He won a award for it. Is and shit for his album with all that. Yeah, shit, that's play, crazy. You know that. Man, rest in peace, Tuka. Though you know, no disrespect. Uh, hey, hey, this nigga's hey, crazy, bro. Keep in mind that the nigga was 15 when he died, and the song was released five years afterwards. These Chicago niggas are a different breed. They was talking That's about- That's what I said. It, got, oh God, it had to be like 15 years ago. Yeah, you hear me? Op pack. New op pack in the air, this gas or what? This still be a laugh right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. But the craziest thing is, smoking Tuga didn't even start out as a diss. Before Tupac died, he said he wanted his ashes smoked, and his man did it. Mm -hmm. After Tupac died, the outlaw smoked his ashes. Is that true? Yeah, it's definitely true. So the GD started saying it about Tuka as a sign of respect, but then the BDs would mock them, and Chief Keith made it go crazy by putting it on all of his songs. Mm -hmm. 
He was always dissing his odds, and Lil Durk was doing it a little too. Like when he went to Tuka bus stop and said this. Oh God, and this bro. bus stop right here, though, this, this, this is a real famous place, man. This is a real famous place, man. And this bus stop is a real famous place, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> But Chief Keith and Lil Durk later inspired niggas like King Von, who took it to the next level, was doing the smartest, most disrespectful thing, just turning them niggas into a meme. King Von will always talk about 63rd, which is partly the reason why he got so successful. King Von said, Boy, we put in work from 64th and from 65th, and not from 63rd. If you enjoying the video so far, leave a like. You heard what he said, we not from 63rd. He said, he just dropped. Like, it was like he dropped the mic on the music. Bro, that was like, when he said that, it was like went viral. That's like, everybody man. said, like, I think even old people say, like, we not from 63rd. You, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody know nothing about 63rd. You don't even know. You get your Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but something else that's kind of crazy is that those streets are literally two minutes away from each other. I thought that shit was on the other side of the city. These niggas grew up hating each other and living two minutes away. The King Von and, and then, You know what Gary is like, the West Side versus the East Side. I mean, I'm, I'm from 20, block from block. I'm from Delaney, and you know, they, that's around 21st to 20 something, but we don't like 25th sometimes. So. <laughs> I, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I mean, it's stupid, but that's stupid. Bread. You know, that's our, that's our culture, though. We mm -hmm. stupid. I guess we can do that. Got so popular that they had millions of people <laughs> dissing Tuka and 63rd who don't even know what that is. But it wasn't just that. They also had other celebrities doing it, like Young and May. I smoke hookah like it's Tuka blowing jet clouds. And Elite Chopper. I'm gonna find this hookah, shorty. Mr. 3K. <clears throat> that shit crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I know his, that's crazy. I don't know. That's crazy. It's that. They also had other celebrities doing it, like Young and May. I smoke hookah like it's Tuka flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Elite Chopper. Like, gonna find this hookah, shorty. Nah, he did. Mr. 3K. <clears throat> I mean, Quando Rondo. I said, though, they are 63rd niggas, some dirty ass niggas, And way more rappers. I'm not yeah, trying to squeeze in this Quando, video. <laughs> that's crazy. He said 63rd is so dirty. And he only sold 3,500 on his first week. That's crazy. Bruh. Bruh. They was cool. In Quando Rondo. I'm saying though, they are. Look, they was cool. The same nigga that got you to say fuck Tuka and all that whooped your ass and you got him killed. Quando Rondo, my boy. Know how the fuck you rock it, dude. Oh, that's crazy. It's even worse, bro. Dirty ass, bro. And way more rappers. I'm not trying to squeeze in this video. All these rappers, except Quando, probably don't even know what it means. And two of his men were on these niggas' asses. He said everybody is so Quando. Quando know what it means. But everybody else probably didn't even know what it means. They just saying it. And something would happen to them if they ever came to Chicago. And Younger May even apologized. At the time. I said my apologies. Tuka, I never knew who Tuka was. I'm gonna say it again. I don't know who Tuka is. Never knew who he was. Just finding himself out the other day. My apologies. She looked like she gonna be turning back to a girl real soon. <laughs> Man, I, I don't see. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like, like one of them older studs. You know what I'm saying? They get a little chubby and stuff. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> But this is another reason why Tuka's name was so viral. His name is just so perfect for dissing. No disrespect, but it's so catchy. It's one syllable, right. and it sounds like a strain. Nobody's going to go around saying they're smoking on Dave Bond, Daquan, Bennett Pack, but Tuka Pack. And now that we know all this information, let's get to what actually happened to Tuka. Took Tuka was five in retaliation for a person named Todd. Todd was a BD who allegedly tried to violate one of his ops. And when he died, Tuka's brother, Seaballs, who's currently locked up for aggravated battery with a firearm, was alleged to be the shooter. And Tuka was, depending on which version of the story you want to go with, climbing time on social media. So when Tuka was waiting at the bus stop, some niggas made a U-turn and hopped off the car. They asked him what time the next bus was coming, so we let his guard down and then fired shots. And rapper 600 Breezy even claims this happened. It really started with, you know, with, with the nigga Tuka, like mm -hmm. that, when the, you hear that key from the everybody, Tuka, Tuka. He literally was smoking when he got shot. Right. Shot him so many times, his body was smoking. So that's where that came from, exactly. Tuka was yeah. beloved, and after this, they even renamed their set from St. Lawrence Boys to Tukaville. 
It's something that people may not know is Lil Mark was actually Tuka's brother. He dropped one of the most disrespectful diss songs in drill history and was famously clapped three days later at another bus stop. Hey. Chicago one crazy place. But drop a like if you like this video. If you hey. subscribe, that's it. So Tuka Mama lost both of her songs. Lil Mark was Tuka brother. That was crazy. And they said he was, he got shot so many times that he was smoking. And that's how they all started the smoking on Tuka. That's that's crazy. That's that's crazy, man. But y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell us what y'all think. Peace.